This video is for anyone wondering what the heck is the VIP membership at Fabletics? Is it a monthly subscription box program like Stitch Fix or Wantable? It's not, by the way. So what is it? I've been a VIP member at Fabletics for years, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know about it before you sign up. The VIP membership has made a lot of angry customers over the years, so you need to watch this video so that you don't become one of those people. And to be fair, I'll tell you how the brand has tried to improve their customer satisfaction. When this video is over, you'll know exactly what to expect as a VIP member. I'll also show you several places where you can shop for actual subscription box programs for workout apparel. So here we go. So welcome to One Strong Southern Girl. We're a digital health and wellness brand for women who exercise at home. We've been sharing unbiased, honest reviews of the top programs, products, and services for home exercisers since 2016. I'm Mickey, one of the founders, and I'm so glad you're here today. Let's get started. So when I initially looked into Fabletics, it was because I was reviewing, our company was reviewing all of the different subscription box programs that were on the market for athleisure wear and workout apparel for people. Now, over the last five years or so, there have been several companies that have started but have all closed their doors. And uh, we've reviewed them, and then months later, they're no longer in existence. Now, Fabletics has stuck around, but one of the reasons that I really, um, we've decided to create this video is because Fabletics is not really a subscription box program at all. Now, if you Google subscription box program for workout gear, you'll see Fabletics in the in the mix and it comes up in Google and the SEO, it's got a top spot and they sponsor that those keywords a lot of the times. But they aren't really a subscription box program at all. They have a very unique program that's different than everything else on the market, which is why we decided to do this video because they put a lot of money in marketing. And so they're very, very popular. They're just a different option, but you really need to know what you're signing up for before you sign up for it, which is why we are here today. Now, before we leave, I will show you some true subscription box programs that are out there right now that that exist. And so will they be there when you're watching this video in the future? I'm not sure, but there are, you have several options for those right now. And we do have memberships to a few of them. And so we can uh, give you our opinion on a couple of them. And then there are some that we don't have memberships to that we'll probably test out in the future. But the first thing I want to tell you is that we, I would love to say that you could just head over to Fabletics and start shopping, but they make it impossible. If you attempt to shop on their website, if you just click the shop now button, this pop-up comes up and you're forced to answer these questions and jump on their email list before you can shop. And I find that really, really obnoxious. We're an e-commerce company as well. And I know this is a really popular tactic to get people on your their email list for the company, but I still find it annoying. And I think they do lose business making things that way. And so what I'm going to do is sign into my membership and you'll be able to see exactly how this works without filling that out and jumping on their email list so that you'll know what you're going to get without going through that whole thing. I will say that something that's new for them that I really, really like is this accessibility. So make sure that you click on that little tab in the corner if you're on mobile or desktop because it's got some cool settings and not many websites are offering this right now. So bravo to them for doing that. I really, really, really like that. Okay, so we are signed into my membership. You can see right here, hi Mickey. And I'm gonna link out to this page in the show notes. And I definitely recommend that you do watch this video. It does tell you how the membership works. It breaks down most of the details that you need to know or all of them, or it's, it's all here. It's just confusing for some reason. And maybe I'm the only one that finds this confusing, but when you go and actually start shopping, it becomes confusing. You think you understand it and then you start shopping and you're like, wait a minute, that's confusing. And there's little details that you might have missed along the way that you suddenly realize when you get charged for the month. So basically you're charged $59.95 a month for a discount membership to their retail, their apparel or clothing, whatever they're selling, their gear. 
And so if you don't purchase anything, then you can skip the month by the sixth of every month and you'll be charged nothing. Or if you forget to skip or if you just want to build up credit, then you'll be charged 60 bucks basically every month on your credit card. Okay, and so that's how that works. You get free shipping if you spend over $50, and otherwise you gotta pay for shipping as well. And then they have some other prices and taxes that they, surcharges on there as well. I'm gonna show you, because I'm gonna go through a checkout process and kind of show you how it works. And we'll be referring back to this page because like I said, it's a nice little visual and it's got these nice details you do need to remember. And so bookmark it or just look it over and so that you can uh, make sure you don't you know, so you can reference these details during your membership if you decide to sign up. So re also remember your credits expire after 12 months. That's new. I don't remember that being there before as well. So that's something that you need to remember. So if you skip or if you get charged a whole bunch of times over the month because you forget to skip and then you never use your credits, you're going to be, you're going to lose them after a year. That's annoying because you've paid for them, right? So member credits, like I said, here's an overview of how that works. If you're a member, then you get a discount. So if I went and shopped right now and I didn't have any credits in my account, I would still get a discount because I'm a VIP member, okay? So you still get this discount price. If you use your credits, then you can use them to pay for the, the, the item. And then this is full price for non-members. But um, so that's how that works. So if you sign up with your email list and you go and you purchase something on their website without being a VIP member, then you'll just pay full price. OK, so let's go through this. I'm going to purchase something, put something in my cart and kind of show you how it works, because I think that's the best way to explain it. OK, so I'm going to take you through a few different shopping scenarios and I'm going to show you why this is, becomes confusing, at least for me. So remember, the monthly cost to be a VIP member is $59.95. So let's go and purchase something that's one member credit. I currently have one member credit to spend. And so this right here says that it's one member credit or $59.95, which is the cost of a member credit monthly, right? So that they would be equal in my mind. I'm looking at them thinking, okay, those are the same price I think I'm gonna go purchase that and see what happens. And so let's add it to the cart. And again, it's showing us the same thing here at the cart, right here. It's $59.95 if I don't use my credit or it's the it's one member credit, which should tip it, which in my mind should cost me nothing. If you're not a member, it's $74.95. So if you've signed up, gone through the questionnaire, the little quiz at the beginning with the pop-up and given them your email address and you're able to shop on their website without being a VIP member, you would pay a $74.95 price for the same item I'm going to get as a VIP member for $59.95 or using my member credit, okay? So that's what it looks like right now. So I'm going to add that to my bag, my cart, and then we're going to check out. So we go to check out, and of course you're gonna get an upsell immediately, right? Offer me to buy something else. Wanna buy something else, that's fine. No, here we go. Now, here's where the confusion starts for me. So for the subtotal, they've used the non-VIP member price. Remember, that was $74.95. So instead of just putting $0 here, they've got to remind you you're getting a discount. That's what's happening here, which I find confusing and unnecessary, right? But so be it. So it's $74.95, and then they're showing you that you're getting a $15 member save, VIP member savings, which puts you at $59.95, which was what we were being charged for this item right here if we did not use our member credit, but we did. And so it's going to cost us nothing, which is not reflected here. It should say $0, I think, because I find that, that I think that would be easier to understand rather than for me to look at my shopping cart and see $74.95, which in my mind makes no sense because I'm like, wait, what? 75 bucks, what did I do wrong, right? I'm suddenly confused. That could be, again, you may not find this confusing at all, 
personally, I find that un- unnecessarily confusing. Okay. Now we did qualify for free shipping because if you spend over $49.95, remember, you get free shipping. Okay. And so we did get free shipping, but what is going on now is that I'm actually paying $9.30 because there are taxes. I Sales tax is fine, but you're also going to be charged a surtax because they import their goods from overseas. And so they're passing through the cost that they are being hit with to you. Okay, so you're going to get a tax on top of your sales tax for your state or area as well. So you're still going to pay something. Okay, so that's what's going on here at checkout, which, like I said, it was I they show you here that you paid nothing, you used a member credit, but then you could look over here at the cost. And I just find that confusing. So let's do this again with a, a an item that's less than one member credit and see what happens. So this item right here, $34.95, definitely well below the $59.95 value of the credit, your store credit, right? Your member credit, shall I say. Okay, so here we go. We're going to add it to the shopping cart. And again, they're showing us the VIP discount price because I'm a member. And the non-member would pay $44.95. Again, that's someone who has gone through the email sign-up process so that you're able to shop on their website, but you're not paying the monthly membership VIP cost to get the discount. And so, again... Less than the $59.95, I've added it to my bag. Let's see if we have leftover credits or what's going to happen. And again, it's telling us you can use your full member credit to pay for this, or it's really cute. I really like this. They have some cute designs. I'm going to go over my experience with the quality of the clothing and the shipping process, all the other things involved in this membership as well. But to me, this is the part that gets people mad. This is one of the things that people get confused on and get angry about after they've signed up because it's just these uh, these little details I'm going through right now, they could get rid of this and make it so much easier. So I'm going to use my credit to, or, or easier to understand, shall I say, and check out. Let's go to check out, get the upsell again, or get offered something to purchase again in addition to what we're already buying. I'm going to decline and continue to check out and let's see what we have now. So, so now we're seeing a subtotal of $69.95. Does anybody know where that came from? I don't really need an answer. I'm sure there's an easy explanation for it, but it's not obvious to me. All I know is that that number, $69.95, was nowhere to be found on this listing. So suddenly I'm confused because the VIP cost was $34.95 or a member credit. The non-member price was $44.95. And when I went to check out, the subtotal is now $69.95. I used my member credit. You can see right here, one member credit applied. And it's telling me I'm getting a VIP savings of $10, which magically puts me down to the $59.95 uh, value of my member credit. But when I went shopping, I it looked like I was using less than my my full member credit, right? Because the price was only $34.95. So they it seems it appears that they with until you get to checkout, you don't realize that they're adjusting the price of everything that's that's listed as being one member credit to be either up or down the value of the total value of your member credit which is $59.95. So here they're saying you're getting a VIP savings of $10 and now that puts this item at $59.95 even though not listed anywhere here, that number isn't. Just like over here where we were purchasing an item that looked like it was exactly the value earlier of $59.95, which is the value of a member credit. They bumped it up and showed us $74.95, which was the non-member price. Tells Tell us we're getting a $15 VIP savings, which magically also puts this at the $59.95 value, which again, equals the amount of your member credit. So if you purchase something above the value of your member credit or below the value of your member credit, if it's being advertised or shown on the sales page as being worth one member credit, they're going to adjust the price to be one member credit. You're not going to have any member credit left over. One member credit is one item, basically. 
regardless of the dollar amount, okay, is what it looks like. And that, and I've used member credits before, and that appears to be exactly what the, the truth of the matter is, because again, order total here is $9.30 for an item that was more expensive than the other item, right? We're going to pay the same amount in import and taxes basically is what we're paying because we got free shipping on this item and then this item also qualified for free shipping and then if you purchase something that doesn't qualify for free shipping because it's less than the $49.95 you'll also have that amount to contend with at checkout as well. So I'm not going to cover every single checkout scenario that you might encounter but just know when you go to checkout the subtotal may not be the number you're looking for just make sure that the order total makes sense to you because this number to me is very confusing and it kind of will take your breath away is the bad part is what I don't think they understand I think they're trying to show you that you're getting these savings but if I am going to purchase something that I'm using a credit for, I expect to see a, an amount when I go to check out, I need to see zero dollars somewhere. If I'm using a member credit that I've paid for and I've, I've so I've got credit, then I should not see a big number here in my cart. That suddenly becomes confusing for me and I stop in my tracks and stop shopping and may just abandon the entire process if I'm in a hurry and don't have time to sit here and try to figure out what's happening. You, you know what I'm saying? And so that could happen to you. Maybe it's, maybe it's clearer to you. But I've been a VIP member, like I said, at Fabletics for years. And this always ha is confusing to me. I always feel like I have to stop and do math because I want to confirm that everything is like it should be. So here's one more scenario. I've added three different things, three of the same items to my cart. I've used one member, my member credit to pay for one of them. And again, you can see what's going on here. I did qualify for free shipping, but you know, it's, it's doing the same thing with the adjusting of the numbers. If I don't use the credit at all, then you still get the VIP savings for the discounted price of the items. But I, I just, the whole thing to me, very, very confusing. I don't understand why they do that. Is that a reason not to sign up for VIP membership? No. But the reason I'm telling you this now is because this is something you need to be prepared for. And make sure, you know, if you're prepared for it, I think it's not nearly as shocking or as frustrating for you when you go to use your credits that you've signed up for, right? That's why you sign up for this are because you get, you're getting these discounts and you're building up credits that you can use. So think of the member credit as a token without a dollar value, but literally as just a, a credit for one item without a dollar value attached to it. And that way when you go shopping, if you've built up some credits, it won't it won't confuse you or irritate you when you go and you look and you see that one credit could be worth 69.95 or it could be worth you know 74.95 or 39.95. You know, it's it that to me is is it doesn't make sense cuz I'm like so am I paying the difference between the two? Nope, you're not. You are using a credit to get this item if that's what you choose to do. And so a credit, again, doesn't have really a dollar amount, even though they're charging you a dollar amount to earn it. You can redeem it to purchase something worth more than the amount or less than the actual value um, dollar amount you paid for that credit. Okay, let's move on to some other things you need to know about the VIP membership before you sign up. So let me show you really quickly how the rewards points work. And you get rewards points for spending money, basically. For shopping, you get rewards points. I have very few rewards points because I don't shop on here very often. I keep the membership so that I can keep up to date of what's going on because we have a very popular review of Fabletics on our website that gets a lot of traffic. And so we try to stay up to date on what's going on over at Fabletics so that we can update that post a lot because it helps people. And again, that's one of the reasons we found out why so many people have been frustrated with Fabletics because we have a lot of hits, a lot of traffic to that review because it's helpful. It shares a lot of this insight. I'll link out to the post in the show notes for this video below this video. We also have a lot of comments under that post from people that have felt like they were very confused and not happy with the Fabletics membership overall. So here's the rewards uh, situation. Like I said, you earn rewards for buying stuff. Only once since 2016 have I used my rewards to buy anything or, or quote, 
get shop for anything. You have to use have a lot of rewards to get anything. So here's the situation. Gold status have a very low status, but I think I got a pair of underwear or something one time and there it was fine. But that's the situation. Don't sign up for this for rewards points. To me, you're signing up because you know you're going to make continuous purchases from this website and you want the discounts. Let me tell you some things about the apparel itself and some things you need to remember about your VIP membership. So what kinds of things can you purchase at Fabletics? What kind of clothing do they sell? They've really expanded their clothing line over the last few years. They now sell men's clothing as well as scrubs. I've not purchased scrubs. I had someone reach out and ask me about the quality of their scrubs. That's brand new in the last year or so. I've never purchased any of their scrubs, so I can't tell you about the quality of their scrubs but they do sell them. Now, can you use your member credit to buy scrubs? Let's check it out and I will tell you live right now. Let's see. Yes, you can. So that's cool to know if you're in the medical field and or whatever field you're in that may use scrubs. You can use them to purchase whatever they're selling on their website, apparently. They are also now selling shoes. That's new. They did not used to sell that. I like that they sell accessories. Yiddy is their... I think that is their undergarment wear, shapewear, okay? Yiddy is their shapewear. You can use your member credits to purchase that as well. Kids wear, didn't know they had that. I'm wondering, can I use my, yep, I can use my member credit to buy some kids wear if I want to as well, if you have kids that you're shopping for. So they've really, they're testing out some new things all the time, but they have a lot of options that you can use to purchase with at a discount if you're a VIP member and to use your member credits. And so remember, the only brand you'll find on Fabletics is the Fabletics brand. And it's really not like at the at a monthly subscription box program like Stitch Fix or Wantable that I mentioned earlier or some of the yoga box programs that will send you items every month in a box handpicked for you that you try on and send back, but those items are typically a variety of different brands inside the box. Here at Fabletics, everything is Fabletics brand, even the shoes. So they have branded their own shoes. And yeah, so look at that, Fabletics shoes. So that's new, it didn't, they did not used to sell shoes. So like I said, they're testing out a lot of things. They're trying um, to you know stay relevant and at, kudos to them. They are working on improving the problems. I think things have slowly gotten better, but in some ways, the main way they're trying to improve is by expanding their line of offerings. And that's not really fixing some of the problems. Like I said, some of the problems at checkout and things like that that are still confusing, I really wish they would they would fix some of that stuff or update it in some way. So I'm going to show you really quickly another thing that I really like about Fabletics or something that's very uh, real positive in my opinion is that they offer a huge range of sizes. Now, are all of those, look at that, it's a, the, the size is just a huge, huge range of sizing for most items. I will tell you that some of the problems I've run across when I've shopped, at least earlier on, when I first had my membership probably two or three years ago, if I purchased something, I noticed that many, at least three times I made purchases that I was later emailed and told they were on back order. And so they would come in. It took months to actually get those items. So keep that in mind because they are importing goods and they're constantly rotating inventory and, and bringing in new things. If you get something on sale or you get something that's brand new or hot item or whatever, don't be shocked if you if you go and go through the entire checkout process and then get told that it's on back order and you're not getting it right away because that is something that's happened to me multiple times, which again can make a person very frustrated. So I assume that's something they're working on, but that's part of their business model. So that's one more thing that you also have to keep in mind and be prepared for. So I do like to talk about the fit and quality of the clothing. So this is directly from the review on our website. And my experience with the apparel at Fabletics, again, they're importing apparel. And so you may get have a different experience depending on what you purchase. But I have purchased several, a variety of different, different items from them. And in my opinion, this is what I have run across. 
I love that the tights come in all those different styles and colors. That's very, very exciting for me when you go shopping. I just, I love to have different prints and different cuts and styles and things like that. But I am 5'3". And I, what I've run across is that they, a lot of the, the tights have a long crotch. And the fabric, depending on what you're looking for, keep in mind that the fabric might be really, really thick. Because a couple of the leggings I've purchased had really thick uh, material with them and they were not very stretchy. And so it was kind of a stiff experience um, with a long crotch, which does not make for a very comfortable pair of, of leggings. Sports bras, again, stiff, not that comfortable. The size was not spot on. Um, uh, you can see what I per- put here. Again, not a reason not to test them out. These are common problems with lots of different outlines of apparel, but I do uh, think it's important to, you know, tell you what you might encounter. Joggers, great with those. I've had good experience with those and the undergarments as well. Shirts uh, run very large. Again, I'm 5'3", but, and so maybe petite would be uh, something I should be purchasing. At the time of my last purchase, they did not have anything that was in a petite let's see if they do right now um i don't see anything that's short considered um called short or petite on the leggings here's flare short skirts no nothing here let's look on the shirts so something like this to me would is going to hit me in a very different spot then this model right here is probably six feet tall. So keep that in mind. They don't have anything for short people or petite people or, you know, petite height and the smaller size ranges. So that's something to keep in mind when you're shopping. So a couple of things I really like about Fabletics. I will say I really like their website. I like that they change up apparel all the time. It is tempting to purchase things on their website a lot if you like to wear athleisure wear a lot, which I do. I wear athleisure wear almost every day for most of the day because I work remotely. Now, the other thing I like, a um, large variety of sizing, and I do think their apparel is high quality. There's no like loose threads. They have lots of vibrant colors and cutouts that um, don't fade or shrink and things like that, but the fit is you know, hit or miss, depending on your size. So there's lots to, to like about Fabletics, especially if you go into it with open eyes, like after watching this video, I think you'll be much better uh, situation or shape to sign up for it and know exactly what to expect and not experience any frustration with their brand. Now, the, the thing I want to point out, it, it, and what I say in the review on my website is that basically Fabletics is nothing more than like a, it's not a monthly subscription box program in any way. It is basically just a reminder service every month to go shop at Fabletics. So it really is that in, at the end of the day, what I want you to do to promise me you're going to do if you shop or if you sign up for the VIP membership is that you will put a reminder on your phone or on your calendar to skip the month on the fifth of every month. Don't think you're going to get reminded to do that. You're not. You're not. You're just not. So that's another frustration for me. I wish I could get, I wish someone would remind me to skip. I've gotten, it's on my calendar now, my Google calendar, and I don't fall into that trap anymore. I haven't forgotten to skip in a very long time. You'll see on my review, I actually emailed the, uh, the, the or text messaged their their customer support service to find out how often I could skip. Can I skip every month indefinitely? And yes, you can. Uh, According to their chat service, they told me I could skip every month forever and never be charged or penalized in any way for doing that. So remember, 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 because that's one of the things that will make you the most angry is if you forget to skip and suddenly you get charged this $60. Um, That to me is not cool. They should be doing everything they can. And maybe they've changed it, but I have personally don't get an email reminding me to skip or any kind of text message. I would opt out of any text messaging from them because they would probably just bombard you with with SMS uh, sales prompts. But if they offer a text messaging service to remind you to skip the month, that would be great. They're not going to do that. So make sure that you protect yourself as a consumer and to make yourself a happy customer. Make sure that you 
give yourself a reminder to skip by the fifth of every month so that you don't get charged for that and you'll you'll just be happier overall with this membership. Now for customer service, make sure that you bookmark the customer service page. This How It Works page has their top FAQs, which are important to know about. And you need to know how to contact customer support. So let me show you how to contact customer support, how to cancel your membership, and then I will show you some true places that you can find some actual subscription box programs for athletic wear. If you want to test them out, that will be very quick. So here is where I recommend that you go to do customer service or contact customer support or cancel your membership. You'll go to your online or to your profile and click on My VIP. Again, I'm on desktop. I recommend that you navigate these types of memberships on a desktop computer. I just think you, it's easy to miss details on a mobile device. In my opinion, a small screen, it's just hard to take in all the details because you have to scroll so much and click so much more to find the things you're looking for. It's just easy to miss things. But especially if you're going to cancel your membership, definitely go to a computer. So again, VIP, My VIP, and then scroll down the little ways and you'll find exactly how to contact customer support and how to cancel. And they actually allow you to cancel online now. That is brand new. They did not used to allow you to do that. So if you click on cancel this month, they will um, allow you to go through that and cancel your membership. So here are a few options for online subscription box programs for athletic apparel. Now, a lot of these programs. This one is called, this one's from Fitbox. So F-I-T-B-O-X-X. -X. We do not belong to this one. We not have no, no, so we can't really give you an opinion about it. It looks like it's for CrossFit. I will tell you a lot of these pro programs, make sure you look and see what they ship you. Um, a lot of them ship you like snacks and stuff that I don't know. If that's what you're looking for, that's fine. This one's very specific to CrossFit apparel. So make sure you read the fine print and you want to know how often they're shipping these boxes and if they are curated specifically for you or if they're shipping every customer the same box every month. That, that's what makes them a little bit different as well as the pricing. Um, also, a lot of them, this one's called Ellie.com. A lot of them also have a monthly style fee involved. So you'll get charged like say $20 a month, $25 a month. That's very common style fee. And that cost of the style fee goes towards your purchase of the items in the box they send you. And so you can see here, find a look you love every month. It makes a match two to three styles and sizes, something. And then you send back what you don't like. And so that's another one. Ellie, here's another one called Flex It Pink. This one's pretty new. Um, and athleisure subscription. So that one's new as well. Alternating pieces. You don't need over 20 sports bras. This one looks very interesting. We might sign up for this one next and see how it works. But that's just some of the things you want to consider. Like I said, what you're getting every month, whether it's curated uniquely for you based on what you're asking for, or whether every member gets shipped the same items. Also, whether there's a style fee involved, what brands they use in their boxes, how often you're getting a box, if you can skip without being charged the style fee, or you are going to get charged no matter what. If you can switch your monthly to quarterly or every other month also, that's some of them do that. This one's called Barbella. Barbella boxes shipped to the end of the month every month, an email. So this one's interesting. Customize your fit. So um, again, another option here, Barbella. Here's, we actually have reviewed Yoga Club. I, I really like Yoga Club and um, I'll actually link out to our review of this one because we have received this box before and gone over how this one works specifically. This is a good program with high quality athletic wear, not just for people who do yoga or Pilates. It's definitely, uh, you know, workout gear you can wear for anything. Again, one more thing you need to consider. I, I know I said it earlier, but think about whether you want to get just clothing or you want to get other things in the box like gear that they might use or like a workout calendar or like little knickknacks in the box versus just clothing. So that's definitely you want to think about that. Wantable is probably our top pick for for this right now on the market. If you're looking for a monthly subscription box service for athletic wear, Wantable is probably our favorite right now because we have the most experience with them. They have more than one program. You can actually, they have 
something called a, a uh, an active edit or a style edit. And the style edit is more like Stitch Fix where they send you everyday wear. The active edit is where they send you fitness apparel. And that's the one that we are very familiar with and would would definitely recommend to anyone. It, it's a great service. And um, they actually send you seven items in a box. So you can see here. So definitely check out their websites. I'll link out to all of these websites. Those are all of them for now. Those are all, every one of those are more what you more of what we would call a monthly subscription box service where you get something on autopilot sent to you versus Fabletics where you actually are just going shopping on their website you're doing all the work you're shopping you're picking all of your items yourself just like you're you're just shopping at a discount that's all Fabletics VIP membership is in a nutshell there's lots of other details to remember but that's what you're getting with that membership so so if you have a question about Fabletics or if you're a VIP member of Fabletics, please use the comment section below the video to share your questions or tell others what you love or don't love about the VIP membership. Check out OneStrongSouthernGirl.com or one of our YouTube playlists to discover reviews we've done on some of the other top services and workout libraries on the market today for home exercisers. Make sure to follow our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time we share a new video review.